Colorado students are stepping up to help their neighbors meet basic needs. We've been reporting on the rising cost of just about everything these days, and that includes food. Marissa Automaus reporting tonight, the Food Bank of the Rockies has already provided food for nearly 10 million meals this year. Jim, that's right, and that number is likely going to go up, but there are several people working to address this issue, including the Mecha Group here at North High, and this is a school that has more than 60% of students on free and reduced lunch. I just wanted to show you guys the community fridge. North High School students saw a need. It's our waters, our Lunchables, and there's always kids saying, I'm hungry. Which led to the creation of a free community fridge. I hope that they walk away a sense of gratitude and be like, hey, this is a place where I feel safe and I can come and get something to eat without having to be judged. The need at the school was so big, the fridge was empty in just a couple of days. We had to go shopping again, but now it's a little slower, but kids are, are definitely eating the snacks. And this is indicative of a much larger issue facing the Colorado community. What we've seen is a continued and sustained need for food assistance. Food Bank of the Rockies is serving more families now than it was before the pandemic started. Currently, the nonprofit is spending almost a million dollars on food every month, and this is in large part due to inflation. Some of the staples that we are purchasing so much of, like ground beef, is up 27 percent over a year ago. Canned fruit is up 30 percent, and then freight costs, and that impacts both food that we are bringing in that we're purchasing and that's getting donated. As food insecurity worsens in our state, these students hope their fridge continues to make a difference for those who need it most. You never realize how much of an impact something has on the community until you actually take action. And last year, the Food Bank of the Rockies distributed more than 93 million pounds of food in Colorado. The students here set up a fund to help them restock the fridge. For a link to that, you can visit our website. In Denver, Marissa Adamas, covering Colorado First.